If you know anything about dancing, you will know how important training is. And if you don't know how to train, I'm here to organize the training using two essential aspects. Let's get into it. Now, if you are a professional dancer or just someone that aspires to start dancing, you have to understand that training is really essential. What do I mean by training? For me, when I train, I spread it in two different parts, the mental part and the physical part, right? Let's start with the physical part first. Strength training. Sorry to tell you, you gotta hit the weights, okay? This is because it's very important to condition our muscles and our body to do the moves that we are planning to do in the future. Our body has to adapt to the stress that we're gonna put on it. How do we train that? You can train different muscle groups using weights, or you can do what's known as calisthenics, that is basically using your own body as the weight. For me, I try to do strength training at least three times a week. Also, for strength training, I highly recommend this book called Bruce Lee, The Art of Expressing the Human Body. It has everything you will ever need when it comes to your training. Then, another essential part is cardio. Cardio is absolutely crucial. I cannot emphasize enough how important this is because you have to make sure that your breathing and your heart is in check if you're going to go higher level dancing. Why? Because you can dance five minutes in your room or at the studio and then stop. Almost everyone can do that. But if you're gonna go at a higher event and you have to qualify, right? And you have to go rounds and rounds and rounds or you have to repeat the choreography like 16 times, you have to be prepared for that. For me, how I implement my cardio is quite simple. I'm trying to make it fun, as, as fun as possible. So what I do is cycling. During the winter, I do snowboarding. And occasionally, I'll put my earplugs in and start running. So I like jogging, I like sprinting. Also, obviously, dancing really hard will get you into that cardio zone. So keep doing that as well. Another really, really important part is stretching. There are two ways of stretching that you have to know. Dynamic stretching, static stretching. Dynamic stretching is basically what you do before your workout, okay? That's basically your warm up. And static stretching is what you do after your workout. For me, when I do static stretching, for example, is usually staying in the same position for like 40 seconds, half a minute, maybe a minute, depending on how I'm feeling in that day. It doesn't matter if you're training for muscle growth or muscle resistance or you're trying to improve your flexibility. It is very, very important to have that mind-muscle connection that everybody keeps talking about, okay? You have to focus on what you're training, you have to focus on what you're doing on that moment. Do each task at a time and your training will end up really organized and at the end of the day, you know exactly what you trained and now you are one step closer to be the dancer that you're dreaming to be. The other essential part is the mental training. What do I mean by that? First of all, when you go to classes, the dance courses that we talked in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. What I strongly advise is to take notes. That's what I do, I take a pen with me. If I'm taught a new step, I will do the step with the teacher, but then I'll go to the corner of the room and write down what do I understand of that step, what that step means for me, right? It may be, I don't know, it is difficult for me to do the step because I don't know, I have to raise my leg too hard or something like that, it doesn't really matter. Then you go home, you take a look at your notes and you try to figure out what's the difficult part of it. You are trying basically to own this step. But to do that, before acting on it, you have to think on what makes that step, okay? It's really very, very important Especially you have to understand where does the step come from because as we talked before most of these dances were poly dances So they mean something. That's why they have naming okay, like Bart Simpson or whatever you look at hip-hop right? Once you understand that and you can do the basic form of the step then you go to different approaches, right? You're trying to change levels. So you're doing the step up maybe lower yourself doing the same step, right? Uh, you're changing directions you go left right front, back, maybe you want to do the step in a different weird position, you put yourself right on the floor or whatever, whatever it's in your creativity, that's a way of training, okay? Another really efficient way of training mentally is to visionize or to project yourself. Let me explain what this is. So for example, you are preparing for the battle of your life or for the event of your life, right? And you have what's known as stage fright, which is absolutely normal, everybody has it. What you do is you close your eyes and you imagine going on that stage, okay? Imagine how big the stage is, try to imagine the people, try to imagine their energy, try to imagine the sound that's going on on the stage, right? And try to feel the anxiety, feel the adrenaline that's, that's gonna happen, okay? It's gonna happen on that stage. And then you do the same exercise, again and again and again and again. Why is this useful? Well, because if you keep doing this exercise, by the time you have to go and actually do the event, you will see that it's gonna be very, very easy for you. Why? Because you already done it 15,000 times maybe, you know what I mean? Because that's how the brain works. This is an exercise that really helps with anxiety, obviously. The only way to bypass anxiety is you have to prove yourself 
what happens if you do it, okay? So then you don't get anxious. Obviously, what I wanted to add uh, on the mental side of things, to also work on your understanding of music. You don't need to move to understand music, to understand what music is made of and how you can move on it. So listening to the same song twice, three, four, five, seven thousand times, can also help if you're trying each time to listen to something different from the song. So for example now, imagining myself dancing on the bass or dancing on the guitar. Just try to do always something new. And that brings me to the most important part of training. At the end of the day, what's important for you is to have fun and to know that you did something new, okay? Just try something new each and every day. And you'll see that progress will come slowly but surely. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to watch some of my other videos, you can check them out. What I'm planning with this channel is help everybody that struggles with dance because I have had people that helped me so I just want to share that back thanks for watching peace